Welcome back. Orcs Must Die 2, Episode 8. I'm Enigmaus, and today we are continuing on our Five Skull Rampage. We're going to be looking at Servant Entrance. As you can see, I have zero skulls because I haven't even seen it before. And as usual, if it takes me more than one try to get five skulls, there will be outtakes at the end of the episode. Enough yammering. Let's get at it. This construction is recent. Yeah, it does have that new fortress smell. Look at the walls and floors. A master's work. Few among the order had such skill. Yeah, there's an army of orcs on the way. How about you measure the place for drapes after the next attack? All right, this map is something else. It's a pretty linear map. We're going to do the quick tour. We've got one rift over here behind this door. You can see they're beating on it, trying to get out. They'll come up the stairs and around the corner and down the stairs and over this way and up the stairs and down the stairs. There's a door with another rift behind it we'll see in wave two and then up the stairs and down the stairs and there's the portal. So it's a very linear route in terms of they don't have any way, you know, different places they can branch off to get to us really, um, which makes it easier and normally for maps like this where you've got two rifts a fair distance apart I like to set up two different kill zones to save a little bit of time in the killing process so that we can keep that fifth skull for completing under the part time in this case it's not really a priority we just we just gotta kill uh, the bad guys kobold runners the most dangerous guys on this map Knoll hunters heavy orc warriors kobold sappers crossbow orcs ogres medium orc warriors, and the five-toothed orc babby. So to deal with this, I've selected the crossbow and the wind belt, pretty good combination, and the trap reset trinket, which is my standard trinket, and then I've got spike traps and steam traps for, for the floor, I've got acid and web spinners for the walls, I've got floor scorchers for the walls or the floor, and I've got haymakers and dart spitters for the ceiling. Now I'm kind of wondering quite honestly whether or not I shouldn't switch out the uh, the web spinner for something a little more damaging, a little more devastating uh, because right now it's it, there's a lot of guys. There's, it's basically this whole thing is swarming you at a single point and you're trying to keep things under control without letting anybody get through because if they get through it's pretty much game over. So what can we use? Is there anything that we can use? This guy, the reach isn't far enough. Uh, and it's one use and then it resets and then you have to wait for it to go again. So actually I think we're pretty much going to use what we've got. So let's get it started. First things first. Uh, there's this little nook here which collection. takes a couple of those pretty well. Um, and then we've got here we can put a couple of those because this first wave is all coming from up there so I don't mind putting a little extra in the front end here and a little less over this way but not by too much and then we've got uh, spike trap you can see the red boxes where the acid trap is it basically ends and then the spike trap will sort of catch the guys trying to sneak around the corner this at least that's the, the plan so then we go like that, and then we will put more acid, and more acid, and e. I can do, what do I want to do here? Let's do the haymaker up here. It's not the best, honestly, it's, it's really not the best, but it's all we've got, so... You can see on the mini-map the swarm of red dots and with the exception of one of them it's all kobold runners. The the one is the howling bastard we just heard, the Knoll Hunter. So I'm going to use this chandelier to take care of a few of them, hopefully. There's the hunter who's just running past all of my traps like they weren't even there. We've got the swarms of so runners. Dead all at once. See what I mean? 
that whole wave is just can you survive the onslaught of runners that's Green all it sharp. was and yeah we're good for here now those just some big honking orcs right there all right so we've got in this case we've got the babbies and the medium orcs on this side but we've got heavy orcs coming through the first rift so same as the last wave we stand up here and help our traps as best we can. I just heard the howl of another damn knoll hunter. Uh, and now we're just using the wind belt to kind of try and keep things under control. I'm expecting more kobold runners any second now. Here they are. Only one survived my traps. No, nope. two, three. Die, 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 and don't get up, please, Mr. Noel. Damn it. You die too. So the Haymaker is doing a not too bad job of helping out up top here. Uh, we've got a guy who uh, is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just looked on the minimap, I'm like, where is that last orc? And then as soon as I find him, he takes a swing Come at me. Purify yourselves. Uh, what else can we put? So predictable. Start building that out a bit, building that up a bit. Uh, next turn I'll get a dart spitter up here, I think. I think that would be a good idea, and then we'll start filling that out. So pleasing. The sappers actually can be a weapon on this map. Oddly enough, if you uh, time everything right, in the south hall. you can really make a mess with sappers. <laughs> Here comes more runners. There we go. The sappers, they go down, they explode. Up for me, and they damage any orcs nearby. That's the best part. Oh my goodness. I, I actually had meant to switch to my crossbow before I launched that guy all the way down there. This is bad for time. As funny as it is to watch them go sailing, it's uh, it, it makes it hard to get that part time. So we gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, and... Oh, I was gonna put the dart spitter. But at least now we've got a little bit of a surprise for the orcs that make their way to the top of the stairs and think they've accomplished something. <laughs> Maybe not so much, huh? Why so serious? Again, just kind of helping out our traps a bit. Very handy that wind belt. I hear runners, possibly sappers. See that that right there, that one runner. If you don't catch him, if you don't notice that he's even there, which is hard to do in all the chaos, that's it. He's he's through the portal and it's game over and everybody's sad. So we kind of thin out the ranks. Die, you bastard. Please? Thank you. Oh, crossbow work. Shoot me in the ass. So you, uh, silly. knock it off. Please, crossbow work. It's not very nice. It's poor, poor behavior. Now we can get the, uh, spitter. And another spitter. Why two spitters? Because we can. That's... <laughs> We're just going to layer in the damage, especially for the runners who might happen to get through. And again, shot in the face. I hear a Knoll Hunter. There he is. Those uh, steam vents 
At first glance, they don't sound all that useful uh, until you see them slowing down the massive horde and then you realize, yeah, I'll, I'll take some more of those, please. The darts are going all chain gun on these guys. That guy's down. The Null Hunter, he's down. My plan works perfect. So far, so good. We've got heavy orcs all over the damn place. Let's do that again. Uh, what else have we got? We got this area over here to fill out. Relentless, aren't they? More spikes, always more spikes. And then up here, more fire. <laughs> you sons of bitches, try and get past me now. Wave six of nine. We aren't getting Manalus on account of the wind belts. And uh, we aren't getting Untouchable on account of the damn crossbow orcs. Uh, but we're in good shape, I think, for five skulls. Yeah, I just got hit in the ass by this guy, crossbow work, coming along beside me. Sappers. We got these guys bouncing around in the sky. I wonder how they feel about that. We're gonna let them eat some of this. And, uh, God damn Cobold Runner. I hate you, Cobold yet. Runner. Go away. All right, so we will do, finish out the steam, steam trap alternation. And then we will get some of this up here. Just to soften them up a bit, because we can. We're in good shape. Uh, we're gonna get some of this down here. Actually, let's do the web. And then up here, we will do another... Actually, let's do another web, and that way if they get through... Ah, uh, damn it! Next, I'm ready. next time around, we'll try another web up here, just to kind of slow them down a bit. And then we'll maybe get some flame over there as well. For all the damn crossbow work shooting me in the ass. I don't hear howling and I don't hear turkey giggling, so we're so far so good. We got the darts going, we got the flames, we've got the acid and the spikes and the steam. Did I? Yeah, another dickhead shoot me in the ass. These are not horrible combos. More dickheads trying to shoot me in the ass. And then they distract you, <laughs> and the runner gets through. Well, that was good. That 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 felt good to knock that crossbow guy back into hell. All right, let's do this because uh, I've had enough of these guys. <laughs> I hope you you like want to shoot me in the ass? I got something for you. All right, wait. Eight of nine. Eight of nine. We've still got all of our rift points. Time-wise, I think we're doing okay. Uh, I think it could be close, but uh, if we get all the way to the ninth wave and wrap it up and we lose because we were like three seconds over the part time, I'm going to sob like a fat kid with a skinned knee. It's going to be awful. Yeah. 
into the drink. Yeah, <laughs> they're all on fire over there. That's what they get for being mean. We're getting a few headshots in here on these guys. Is that all there is? They're really getting thinned out over here. Um, out of all the crossbow guys and the big heavies that we saw, uh, not very many got through. So we're just going to help them along. Uh, so hopefully none of them get through. Oh, look at that. Start out with the ogre. Probably be a Noel Hunter any second now. Oh, he gets the acid and the spikes. And he's going to get the flames in a second. There we go. He's down like a sack of hammers. So good. We've still got a lot of guys coming around from the first. Look at that. Look at that. Just cooking the hell out of them. Checking the mini map for escapees. That's all that remains is this little group over here. <laughs> Glorious victory. Five skulls. That score, I bet, uh, is just awful. I'm thinking like 20,000 in the world. Uh, but let's take a look at the stuff. We got unlock the ice amulet. Uh, maybe we'll mess around with that. So we beat the part time by a full minute. Well, 40, 54 seconds. That's not bad. 17 kill streak. Given the number of bad guys that we were fighting, that's not really all that impressive. Uh, could be worse. Zero skull score because we uh, we got hit and we didn't uh, and and we used a lot of mana so that kind of screwed us over there that was a hundred thousand points worth let's see where we fit on the leaderboards with that seventeen thousand four hundred and two so there's work to be done there's definitely work to be done and we will be getting back to it uh, at some point we're all gonna we're gonna go back through all the maps do a score attack run that's where we're at so the next next episode will be the next map. And it's going to be fun, it's going to be awesome, we're going to kill some orcs, chaos, mayhem, and uh, leave your comments and feedback below, because that's uh, all part of the chaos and mayhem. Thanks for watching guys, and take care. There was a trick, I recall, for dealing with hunters, that uh, I'm getting slowed by some sort of poison on his claws, why is it? Wow. God damn, there was a lot of them. And I've got nothing here to deal with them, and that's that's game right there. Can you believe that crap? Quit it. Stop it. Not fair. No, we did not get that son of a bitch. We have to come up with a better way. I kind of think we might have to chance it with setting up this single kill zone up front. Look at this, he's not taking any damage. Uh, no damage at all from my crossbow. See, that's why I didn't take barricades. I don't know if barricades would be helpful for keeping this situation under control. Um, but I do know that the sappers just kind of complicates the idea of using barricades. So much we'll just, wonderful death. again, using the wind belt to kind of keep them back. Hey, 
Bastard. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. 